Well, we're back again. This side's finished. I've got the uh, plugs in, standard one, throw some ignition systems in and tightened up, and one down the bottom there. Now I have a 20 amp one, which is wired up, I've got 50 amp fuses, no, 50 amp lead. Now I've, you see there I've made a pocket in the wall, siliconed up again, and sealed for all that to go into, which is pretty good I reckon, it'll fit nicely in there, dried it, works fine. Um, I've got another seat belt in too, and a, and a pocket made for that as well, down in there. Decided against putting an extra felt in because if it gets wet it's going to stink, so I decided not to go that way, just with the extra sound deadening in there it will be sufficient, and sealing it off I think it would be better than it was originally. So I'll go ahead and fit it in and get this side finished. <coughs> oh, incidentally, notice down there what I've done is I've when I've tightened it up I've actually put some sealer adhesive on there to stop that nut from undoing and the uh, pin from rotating. Just you know with vibration and that it rattles loose to make sure it doesn't. And to make sure we have no earthing on the body. I've, apart from the wire itself being insulated, I've run some quite a bit of electrical tape around it just to be sure. <coughs> Incidentally, what I use is this um, Nito electrical tape. <coughs> I find that to be the best. You can buy that in all sorts of different colours. But uh, yeah, it seems to give me the best adhesion. Okay. 